Hey everyone, Dev here. Welcome to Some Assembly Required Overview. I like when the game slash apps challenge me essentially to prove that I have a diploma in that field. <laughs> One day I thought I would be building robots, but instead I'm building sandwiches, which I'm not complaining about that much, but at least it's a proof that I did something in my education history. So some assembly required is an engineering robot simulator game where feel free to let your imagination go wild here and build some robotic contraptions for whatever purpose there is in a heavy simulated building environment. I got an access to this project like almost more than one month ago, but I didn't have the time to try up until recently. Besides me loving the fact that it's pretty much up my alley with my education, it's easy to say this is the best iteration of this specific genre to date in the quest history. I would say that it is very heavily ambitious, with so many parts adjustable and modifiable internally and externally, which really tickles my mechatronics bone. While you can create here pretty much whatever you want in the mechanical aspect. On the bad side of things, I found the controls to be not understandable and pretty hard to get into, like it gets in your way with the gameplay. And initially, when you're not well versed in what's happening, then you'll be just simply lost. I think later on, when you invest a couple hours in the tutorial and just finding out the general mechanics, then you will easily do whatever you want there. It is definitely one of a kind on the store, we've had some tries in the past, but they had some overall ideas and were not going full in like this one, so I really appreciate having something like that on the store nowadays, especially because it can be used for entertaining purposes and educational, so having both worlds is very convenient for the user. And if someone finds the robotic systems interesting, then this is definitely the way to go. Let's go create some robots. Where are we? Why he's walking so funny? Seems like some kind of a robotic workshop. Which, funnily enough, I have a degree in that department, so I'm ready to test my skills. I will say that the resolution. What is it about recent games that? That isn't necessarily up to par, like... It's just a little bit flickery and not necessarily sharp in the distance, but... That has been every single game, almost, pretty much, I feel like, recently. So let's start. <laughs> There's like campaigns, sandboxes... Yeah, so it's not like purely up to your creativity. There is some kind of goal to pursue, which is always nice in that genre. Some kind of instructional video. Or like the overview of the place. <laughs> So this including tutorial. Does it prove triggered though? Yeah, for some reason. Oh, it's very quiet. <laughs> Oh, that's very easy to handle. Inside the part and select button.
Yeah, I'm not really sure if the camera controls are consistent. There's a lot of going on, like scale. There's gonna be movement. So I don't know yet. Well, I mean, the wheels work like that. <laughs> I just make it double somehow. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Yeah, because my left trigger does that. It's a wrong wheel as well. I mean, I can just do one side and then do the opposite. And if I want to detach it? Oh, I like that when I hover my finger, it shows me what it does. There's a very few applications that use that. What's it called? Like, touch feedback? <laughs> oh, have to say. It's a pronomination. Where's the package though? Oof, there's a lot, lot of stuff. Which is nice, not necessarily for the beginning when I'm trying the application, but that's no one's fault. Nice. How do I pick this up? <laughs> there you go. I can't move by myself. It's the robot that... ...switches the perspectives.
This is hard. <laughs> it's mostly just due to the fact that you choose tools, what the trigger does, and you need to be careful with that. There are like erase and back out patterns, but there is a meaning to everything here. <laughs> I attached the head in the wrong spot. Well, now you see backwards, mate. Okay, gentle now. I need to somehow drop this. Oof. That wasn't that easy. We are getting points. Probably something to upgrade. Nice. And uh, what's that? Another like tutorial, but more for advanced stuff. RPM, certain of mass. Yeah, I mean, that's why I didn't graduate. I do have a diploma. Aha, uh -huh, so I need to make it faster. Maybe that's an overkill, but it will get the job done. Oh my god, calm down. I can't control it anymore. <laughs> I like that you can modify, I'm assuming, every single parameter available. That's possible. It's even faster, but the max didn't do anything since the wheels did not even touch the ground. So this is very cute. Learn from the basics. Even though if you had some experience prior or not. So this needs to be like more forward? <laughs> but I don't see anything that I can modify here now. It's just the axis. Somehow it's over me. Like I'm not sure what to do here. I'll do the kaiju then. That seems like a proper test of my non-skills. And those are the bits that I need to like unlock.
destroy the city. <laughs> so I need to do like a mayhem causing robot from base. <laughs> Maybe something massive that moves fast and just drives around everything. Oh, there's also something pre-made. Nice. <laughs> Simply because I don't necessarily have the time. <laughs> it's so cool. mechanism to make him move like a dog or some sort the problem is that he can't turn but love the idea interviews here and I probably did not show much because applications like that they tend to consume so much of your time that for the overview purposes you just don't experience everything that's possible. I love the idea and the concept, it's very in my educational taste and someone who's very creative and into building robots, this is a no-brainer, like an absolute go-to to make something from the ground up and even being able to modify it however you want. I will say that the controls are rather challenging at first. Later on, I kinda got used to it, but still, because of its modification nature, it's just a lot to put in two basic touch controllers. It is intuitive when you learn what every single tool does, but then you need to pay attention to what you're doing because you can easily crash the system. <laughs> In the beginning, I thought the resolution was a little bit low, but now in the stages, it's better. Still, with the stuff that I see with small details, it is flickery. And that style is very simplified, but that does not go against the gameplay at all. It's a great engineering app for the platform. I think one of the kind, if we're talking about this specific subject because we've had similar but not as complex as this. Overall pretty good, there's not much else to say negatively about it.